when people say AI hard scan, they mean two different things. One is software that rereads a regular chest x-ray you already took. No new scan, no dye. It looks for tiny patterns around the heart and vessels that actually predicts future risk. So think of it as an early heads up. The other is a coronary CT with heart flow on top. That's a full CT angiogram with contrast dye. The AI then models blood flow and tells you two things, how much plaque you've got and whether it's actually choking the artery. The question is, is it worth it? If your intermediate risk, like family history, weird symptoms that don't match your stress test, or your numbers aren't good, like ApoB and LP small a, then yeah, this can definitely help. The X-ray AI is a cheap nudge to look deeper. Now, the CT plus heart flow is the serious look when you need anatomy and flow to decide treatment. So if you're low risk, clean labs, CAC equals zero, no symptoms, then skip the tech and keep lifting the boring levers such as ApoB down, blood pressure steady, A1C tight, no smoking, real sleep, real food. So the question is now, how does it work? Well, before you ever feel, let's say, chest pain, uh, low oxygen and inflammation, leaving micro changes such as tiny calcium, subtle vessel remodeling, density shifts, humans miss that at a scale. The AI doesn't. On CT, heart flow runs a virtual pressure test to see if a narrowing actually blocks flow. That's the question that matters. When it comes down to safety, X-ray AI is basically zero extra risk. You already had the image. Now, CT plus heart flow uses iodinated contrast and of course more radiation, tiny allergies and possible kidney risk. So you can talk it through with your doctor. It's not for active heart attacks and the images have to be good quality or the read won't be reliable. My final thoughts, tools don't save you habits and numbers do but if you're the right person this ai read gives you time time to fix the real drivers